Mountain man's retirement plans are dead in the water, you might say. He is a ship captain who blames the city of Alejo for blocking his big plans. Good evening. I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. The drama has been unfolding in the Vallejo Marina now for more than two years. KPX 5's John Ramos with the story. While others may be waiting for their ship to come in, there's one man here who's just trying to get his out. For 20 years, Doug Wagner has lived and worked on a small cluster of boats at the back of the Vallejo Marina. At 80 years old, the retired fisherman survives on a fixed income, and a while back, he purchased this 60-foot commercial barge that he planned to rent out to supplement his income. It was uh, just a short time after I bought this, like a month or so, and then they put that there. That is a huge World War II era troop ferry boat called the Sherman. Over the years, it had served as a floating restaurant in various ports, including Jack London Square in Oakland. The owners convinced Vallejo to allow it to berth here while waiting to be dry docked. But the ship is so big, there's not enough room for Doug's barge to get past it. Now that's only 20 feet wide, and this is 28 feet wide. Doug wasn't worried because the Sherman was only going to be there for two weeks. But weeks turned into months and more months. And now, after more than two years, Doug is still trapped. They brought it here, they left it here, and two years and two months, they just stonewalled me. When I'd ask them about it, they said, we're working on it. We're working on it. The owners have abandoned the Sherman. It sits rusting in the mud, plastered with warnings and court orders that are virtually ignored. The derelict boat is now Vallejo's problem, and Doug says scrapping it will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, money the city doesn't have. So for now, it's staying right here, and Doug's barge business has been left waiting at the dock. I can't even sell it. I can't give it away. I can't nothing because uh, what are you going to do with it? You can't get it out of here. At one point, the city offered to buy the barge for $50,000, but Doug says barges like his rent for more than $300 per day. So he figures he's lost several hundred thousand dollars in income. He says he will pursue a claim against the city if he can find a lawyer who will help him with the case. Doug says he knows the city doesn't want the boat here any more than he does. But he says they allowed it to dock here and they need to take responsibility for that. In Vallejo, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Now, no one from the city would speak with us today, but the mayor has reportedly said Vallejo is seeking bids to find out what it will cost to have that boat removed.